This is the part where it gets so serious, bro. Look at that, y'all. You put his two fingers. He did this. A whiff of death. You too, man. You too, man. It's your boy, Cal's in the building, man. Hey, look. We're back with another freaking story time. Hey, man, look. If you have not been on this journey on my story times, y'all have dropped three story times, and it's pretty, it's doing pretty good. More than I expected. Now, I'm going to do this story time. If y'all can see by the title, man. The, my worst two men ever. Requested from one of my friends who was in the two men. And he brought back my memory. So, we're going to do the story time. Listen, if you have not. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on all social media at Kale's World, man. Hey, man, we're on the road to 1K, man. We're gonna hit 1K before this year close, and we're gonna get lit. Let's get to this video. Let's go. So, man. All right, y'all gonna take it back to me real lane, man. So, look, if y'all have not been watching my story times, y'all need to go back and watch it. Because this is also a part of that story time. My How I Lost My Virginity story time. This is the same girl from that story time. Yes, y'all. So, this is story time where me and her are officially dating now. This was around, I was like 16, 16, 17 years old. Um, sophomore, it, so, freshman, sophomore. In that little era, it was it was one of them. I had my bro, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want to expose, I don't know if you want me to expose his name. But we're gonna call him Bookbag. So me and Bookbag were very close. Uh, we met in freshman year of high school. We were very close. You know what I'm saying? He became one of my greatest friends still to this day. You feel me? And we were chilling. So y'all, so I was dating this girl, Ohio Lost My Virginity. I was with, you know, with me and her was close. And I, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I had let them meet. You know what I'm saying? He was my one of my bestest friends. Um, so they met like a little group thing. They wanna go to the movies. Okay, so everybody want to go to the movies. I said, bet we go to the movies then. He lived like literally down the street. He used to live right down the street from me. He used to walk. So what he did, he walked down here, and you know what I'm saying. My dad dropped us off, y'all. I think it was like on a Saturday. Y'all know we have school Monday through Friday, so I get. I think it was like a Saturday. So we went to the movies. He rode with me and my dad. My dad dropped us off, boom, and we went at the movies. So y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I thought I was jerked up. You feel me? Oh, I missed the part. So, y'all, before my dad dropped us off, he, he let us go to the gas station get some snacks. You feel me? I got some gummy bears, some candy, some chips, some chocolate, all this stuff. I bought all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? 50 cent. You feel me? The 50 cent candy. Yeah, that's off. A dollar candy, for sure. So, we got that. Then we went to the movies. Got there. We waited for a few minutes. We, you know what I'm saying? We was waiting on the girl. Told the woman, hey, we waiting on some, on our, on our guests, our ladies to come. And then we were going to order the tickets. She was like, okay. So me and my boy sat down. You know what I'm saying? We were just talking about the game plan. So you're not, y'all, you know what I'm saying? You're 16, 17 years old. You're starting to experience a lot of stuff. So I was ready at all times. You feel me? I was like, look, we got to go crazy. Like, I gotta get some 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 guap guap three thousand or I got you know what I'm saying I gotta get something. You feel me? So, Cause I know I wasn't getting, you know what I'm saying, the you know what I'm saying the poom poom because she was she was leaking. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm gonna say. She was leaking. You know what I'm saying? Hard blood, you feel me? So I said, well, I'm not getting that. So at least I can get something out of it. So I see, you know what I'm saying? He was like that. You know what I'm saying? We just talking about the game plan. We was excited, but also scared, you feel me? Because we don't know who the girl is. We were just on the phone with her and stuff like that, a group chat. So, about 10, 15 minutes later, she, they pull up. Boom. So, boom, they come in. I said, okay. You know what I'm saying? She a little little white girl, you feel me? Little, little, little white girl, you feel me? Big bun. She had like a big bun. And she had she was skinny. Like, she was really skinny. And I ain't gonna lie. We used to call her Bones, bro. Like, I can't remember the name Bones for her. That's like every time we talk, me and me and Book Bad talk, I say Bones, and he'll know exactly what I'm talking to. Tickets, I forgot what we were saying. Oh, we went to go see that, whatever that new Pet Cemetery came out. That's That was that year. Pet Cemetery, we watched Pet Cemetery. Oh, it was me, my shot my at the time, then her, her friend, then my bro Book Bad. So, 
Book bag was on the other side. So boom, he was macking on her. He was like, I'll be macking too. Feel me? You know, you know when girls leaking, you know, she, they, they, got, they got a lot of attitude, bro. Like a lot of unnecessary attitudes and anger and yelling. So she was on that type of timing. So I like whatever. I'm chilling with my feet up. I went to the bathroom. I said, me and him, I said, look, this is what you're going to do. I said, take her away from us. Like, y'all go do your own thing, I'm gonna do my thing, you feel me? They came back. I said, hey, y'all, he was like, hey, I want, I want us to see, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, like on the other side, so me and you can have a one on one conversation. I said, okay. And she was like, man, okay. So she got her stuff. They went, they went, they were married the long way. Me and my short at the time, still here. So I started talking to my girl at the time, you know, see what was up, to calm her down, like, what, you know what I'm saying, feeding her snacks. And, you know, she's rubbing on me and stuff. Then, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. You know, I got, I got to play with. I got, the, I got the joystick play with. It wasn't too much. It was, it was cool. I was chilling. I was just, I was just want to make sure my boy win and got something out of it. But you know what I'm saying? They stayed down. I think they stayed down there the whole time, bro. They that by themselves. Movie ends. Great movie. Great movie. I ain't gonna lie. It was a great movie. You know what I'm saying? We went out. We waited in the lobby. I caught my, I, I texted my partner yo, to move by the end. Go ahead and slide back. You know what I'm saying? He can't, he, he on the way. Feeling, giving out hugs and stuff like that. Right? And they walk out. Bro, this is the part where it gets so serious, bro. This is the part where it gets the most disgusting thing I ever seen in my life. My boy book bag, right? He, 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 nah, he was like, he, he, after he walked the girls out, I was chilling, I was standing up, looking at the door. He literally came to me. He walked. So he was like, I was standing right here. He walked up to me. He looked me in my eye like this. Like I'm looking at y'all. He put his two fingers. He did this. What I say, it was the, the whiff of death. When I said that with the whiff of fate, I felt like I got hit with the rocks. The rocks the, with the people's punch. Like he just hit my junk in my nose. It's like I felt like I got kicked by a Spartan. Bro, it stunk so bad, bro. Like, when I started, I stumbled a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I told myself, I, I had to catch myself. Like, yo, yo. I'm like, bro, yo, what is that smell, bro? He was like, bro. That was her, like I was playing with her. Yeah, yeah. From the, the Kuda, the Pum Pum, and I smelled it, and that's what it smelled like. I wanted you to smell it. I said, bro, don't ever hit her up again. She, she's dirty, she's nasty, bro. Come on, bro. You're you're grown, like, bro, you know you come on like a two man, you know you come on a date, bro. Why are you smelling like that, bro? Bro. Still to this day, I never understood that. Why is you smelling like that? Like, I never understood, like, you didn't wash, you didn't shower, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's up? Like, so anyway, y'all, that was the most horrible smell I've ever seen. Smell in my life. So, boom, my dad picked this up. So, y'all, it's more to the story. I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit more. It's more to it, it was crazy. It was some kind of back door on my, uh, my girl at the time. So boom, we got in the group chat with me, my girl at the time, and my boy Bootbag. So we were just disgusted about the situation on how, why her junk was smelling like that. And basically she was getting run down like how she don't wash, that she's dirty and stuff like that. And she don't know how to really wash and stuff like that. So basically on some back door type jump to a friend, like exposing her personal business, which I don't, that's, I don't feel like that's called your friend if you're doing that. But you know, so we understood, and I guess they stopped talking, and then he stopped hitting her up after that. But yeah, more of the story is that was one of the worst two men I ever been on. But look, if you want to see my second, one of my best two men, make sure you get me to nine lights. Y'all got me, y'all got me to set six or seven. Y'all give me nine lights. I would do a part two to my the best two months I ever went with. So look man, y'all like the video, man, make sure y'all like. Like the video, man. Y'all keep running them lights up, man. Y'all also sub on the road to 1K. Let's get it, bro. We're gonna get there, man. Kill what out. Peace.
you said I'm like your fan. Pull up, I got.